table. However, briefly, um, item number 10, if I can ask Warwick McNaughton to come to the table, uh, Auckland Council fees, framework and expenses for appointed members. And this results, I think, from a, um, a cabinet decision, but it also allows people to opt out of the full fee and to receive a lesser fee. And perhaps the explanation for that that people should be aware of if you are, for example, on a disability payment, sometimes you will not want to earn the full fee because it uh, detracts from the, um, the payment that you'll otherwise be getting under your disability allowance. But Warwick, do you want to, uh, sorry, I'll get, um, I'm, I'm happy to move that. Who wants to second it? I'm looking at Councillor Philip Heiner. Um, <laughs> No, not be, yeah, um, not for that. Not for that reason, Councillor uh, Warwick. Is there anything further you want to add to that? Um, just to point out that uh, all that we're asking you to do is to agree to replace Appendix B on the current uh, policy with a revised Appendix B. Uh, yes. the, the revisions to that Appendix B simply um, update the rates of meeting fee in line with uh, recent changes to the Cabinet Fees Framework and also brings uh, the payments for the Youth Advisory Panel into line with all the other panels. Um, my apologies, uh, when I prepared the, the item, I uploaded the 2014 policy, the current policy is 2017, but that actually doesn't have any, make, it doesn't make a difference to the... Thank you very much, Warwick. Are there any questions? Uh, Councillor Henderson. Uh, a comment. Well, we'll move. If there's no, oh, sorry, question, Councillor Darby. Just something I raised once before. When we're dealing with our own expenses policy. Why we have a mileage allowance, and I was told that that's what the IRD uses. But having checked the IRD website, they actually have a kilometre allowance. It's 45 years since we got rid of miles. I'm just wondering. Mm. We, we might like to move on with the IRD. It's, it's exp expressed as a rate per kilometre um, and it's actually set by the Remuneration Authority. Not the they IRD. still call it a mileage allowance. The Remuneration no, Authority is probably made up of really old people. Then. It's not that, it's just hard to say kilometreage allowance, isn't it? I don't, I don't think we'll dwell on that. So there's some room for nostalgia, uh, Councillor. Uh, are there questions? Count, any, any questions before I go on to comments from Councillor Henderson? Okay, Councillor Henderson. Thank you, and I just really wanted to briefly say well done and thanks for bringing the Youth Advisory Panel into line. That's awesome. I can't wait to work with those guys and girls. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's, that, that was a decision we've made and it carries through into this, uh, this paper as well. Any further comments? Councillor Casey. Just a shameless advert for um, membership of the six demographic advisory panels. Applications are now open for all six and they close on the 12th of January. As you can see, there is remuneration, so it'd really be great if councillors could market it through their own networks. And the heritage. A shameless commercial promotion, but uh, relevant. Okay, um, no further comments. Uh, I'll put the recommendations. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no.